All right, guys, uh, we definitely have a great episode this week. Uh, made up for lost time, not having one last week because we have three guests uh, with us today. Uh, Deanna, she flew in specifically for this. Uh, I'm just kidding, she did not. But the other two, Melanie and Shakira, did fly in very specifically for the class. We figured, hey, we got everybody in here. Why not have some awesome conversation? And that we did. So you're going to want to check this one out. See, we're still having tea. Can't stop hey guys, I don't even know where I'm talking to right now, but this one. <laughs> yeah, welcome sure, back uh, to always me. Craft Tea. We're at episode 35, and if you can't tell, we're set up very differently. If you're watching and uh, not just listening, but we had to change up because we got a lot of people. <laughs> so many people this time. <laughs> Extra people here. Yes. yes. So, uh, just sound off, I guess, right? Shakira's here. Shakira. Melanie's here. <laughs> Deanna's here. Sarah's still here. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a guest that's not even in the camera shot all the way in the back, too. <laughs> it's full! We are full! <laughs> Um, it's a good day. No, this is good. We have the, by the time this airs, the class is over, but everyone's here, not everyone. But half of us are here for the class, right? Yeah. We're yeah. teaching tomorrow on Warehouse. And then Deanna's just flying around the world and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to fly into Philly. I love it here. It was, it was like, so much fun. <laughs> what, Deanna texted me yesterday. I just walked to the printer to, to do some vinyl. I said, oh, Deanna, why is she asking if I live so close to Philly? And I'm like, all right. So I was like, well, if they have fireworks, I see the fireworks from my house. That's how close I am. And she's, I was like, why are you going to be here? She's like, yeah, I'll be there tomorrow until three. I'm like, oh my God, please tell me you're here for work. Please tell me you have nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was here for work. I had nothing to do. <laughs> That's how cool is that? Like, you already have people being like, this was perfect. It, it really was. like, it uh -huh. worked out. I yeah. was really hoping that I would have like my layover on the second half so that I could come to your guys' class. Oh, that would have been so cool. But it just worked out. But it worked out good too. This is like a yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. All your co workers would be bored in a hotel room, and meanwhile, you're glittering a whole ghost. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> you come back with like this whole project. Like, what have you been doing? <laughs> Literally, nine times out of ten, I'm in my hotel room, like in my underwear watching like Netflix or something. <laughs> it's called slam clicking. You slam that door, you click the lock, and you don't come out until pickup. Oh, Jason wants to slam click everything now. <laughs> that's like a, that's a lifestyle choice. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do you... a lot more of that. I feel like I'm going to slam click tonight. <laughs> <laughs> do you fly with the same people, like the same coworkers? No, it's always so many different. I've, I've flown with a couple people the same, like multiple times. Um, but usually that's something that we plan. Um, but there's like 20. 25,000 flight attendants, I think, across, across the system for my company. Um, so I think it's actually more flights? than that. So what would you say? So why do they keep the light of life? <laughs> 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 okay. but, more pilots. Um, we got too many attendants. <laughs> <laughs> there actually is a pilot shortage. It's like a big thing. They all retired. They all retired during the pandemic. They're all old. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, the pandemic did a lot of things to a lot of industries that they weren't ready for. It was people that had that extra two years before retirement just said, fuck it. Yep. Why mm -hmm. just hang out? So like it created this two year acceleration in so many industries. And that's like major when you just have like that two year gap of people that didn't graduate to fill in all, yeah. all that, you know, with, especially pilots. That's crazy. I don't want anyone to rush through pilot school. No, no, please don't rush. Wait, yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Sarah, please don't, okay. please, don't, please don't rush. <laughs> well, they started changing like little things. Like, um, my company had a requirement where you had to have a four-year degree, um, and it's like, well, that's not necessarily something that you need to have to be able to go to pilot school or flight school, or you know, if you, um, you know, graduated from. Air, the Air Force. I don't know yeah. if that's the right wording, but like you left the Air Force or something. You don't. 
they just took away recently that four-year degree requirement. So now it's opening people up to be able to apply more. Yeah, that only and so, college. I just want to be a pilot. Like, <laughs> wait, so you needed a four-year degree, didn't matter what it was in, for you to even be eligible? No, you could have like an exercise science degree. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like you could just like have... You just have a liberal arts like, degree or liberal whatever. Liberal arts. And they're like, okay, well, you're a pilot now. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. But, like, they, to be able to apply to my company, you had to have, obviously, you know, your mm -hmm. licensing and stuff like that, but also a four-year degree. So. They did it. This is a school of learned police. doctors only. <laughs> <laughs> Johns Hopkins only. That's it. I mean, I wouldn't mind my pilots being more educated. I'm just going to say, like, any anything that helps for me. Plus pilot school. That's fair. Plus pilot school. As long as pilot school's involved. Um, yes. They are very strict with, like, who they hire and stuff. And they actually just opened up a program, too, now where people that are, like, employed by said company um can start going through easier the um hoops and stuff like that that it takes to become a pilot like they'll help you go through like all the training and schooling and all of that and then you have to leave the company and work for like a connection carrier for like x amount of years before you can come back and be a pilot with my company. The flights that you go on, are they only domestic? I go on international and domestic, but I Ooh. prefer domestic. <laughs> it's a lot shorter. Well, because we were just shorter. watching the that based on true story Netflix oh, movie, man. right? With Tom Cruise. Nuts. Blew my mind. Made in America. American, ma American, American made, made or something like that, right? Um, if you guys have watched it, it's, I, the, yeah, it's the number one movie on Netflix right now. It came out in 2017 so or whatever. Really? It's so good. But he plays it's it's based on true story Barry, Barry Seal Seal, and he started as a commercial airlines pilot, but he was smuggling cigars from Cuba, and I guess like the CIA or whatever was like building a file on him, but they were like you know instead of arresting him, they were like you have a distinct Skill. set of skills, we're gonna commission you to start like flying over uh, and, and Cuba and and, and 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 yeah all that and just like taking photos like reconnaissance photos, and then like it then from there he ended up smuggling <laughs> drugs for the cartel and and like it was all kind of like backed by our cover the movie's insane it's suitcases really good on suitcases of money like he had to bury it he had sheds filled with suitcases of money because you can't launder it that quick <laughs> no. uh, they don't take Nuts. everything there ain't nothing left they took yeah. <laughs> and he's dead yeah he was he was killed by contract oh, yeah, killers in 86 oh but the story's nuts yeah he the only reason his story exists is because he knew that there was a hit out on him yeah. so he started documenting his life in vhs tapes and like no way yeah and then they uncovered all the tapes were in the trunk of his car that he was murdered one way out of that no there was nowhere in the world oh my god dude i'm telling you watch the movie it's a really good movie i haven't seen that movie yeah, I didn't know. So any pilots smuggling uh, cigars or anything? <laughs> 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 I don't know. Which means you're doing it well. That. So, <laughs> Dee, you've been on Crafty before, and I just want to kind of bring up, last time you were on here, you really weren't crafting at all because you were hurt. But now you're kind of facing a problem that a lot of people have, though. Is now you're not crafting at all, and you're healthy. Okay. Straight to the point. I just you know, started you were, okay. Okay. That That's not how I was going to say that. But no, seriously, a lot of people, and I had it because I had a baby, and then there was, I didn't know how to get back in. And a lot of other people, you know, they stop crafting for one reason or another, and they don't know how to get back in it. Yeah. What's it like for you right now? It's it's really sad actually it's hard because i want to you know and i go to like tumblr con and i buy a bajillion you know special <laughs> drink sleeves so you said when you first came in you yeah, still have like, them she's like which ones do you have i'm like all of them <laughs> I'm like, i haven't done anything with them or you know i come here and i'm like wow look at all the glitter like this is amazing or i see your guys' beautiful cups and i'm like yeah, I'm motivated. I'm going to go back home and I'm going to make cups. And then I go into my garage and I'm like, yeah, no, screw this. Because <laughs> I have to clean my workspace. <laughs> yeah, I have to clean my workspace. Or, you know, because all of those months that I spent not being able to make cups, um, I was still getting stuff. You know, I was still buying things. I was still getting packages from, from different companies. And it just all, like, piled up. I probably have, like, 
12 peachy palettes just sitting, sitting like, waiting, <laughs> stocked up on top of each other. I can't tell you how many vinyl frontiers I have just mm -hmm. sitting there or like... I I've mean, seen the piles. Where the hell am I supposed to put my dimensional drinks? They, they don't fit in any drawers. So they're, they're all just like stacked up on top of each other. And it's like, I, I look at it and I have so much anxiety that I just don't want to go in there. If anybody is watching or listening and um is, wants to come and organize my workspace... I'm dead. I thought she said you have any advice. And she said, like, no, no. <laughs> I'll pee you. Um, but no, it's it's hard even just to get past that point. But even I know that after I'm done cleaning, it'll be easier. Yeah. But I don't know that it'll ever be the way that, or at least it feels like that. Like, I don't know if it'll ever feel the way that I felt like during COVID when I had literally nothing else to do. And it's like, that's when I was in And I've got all of these great ideas. And then, you know. I had all the time in the world, and everybody else also had all the time in the world, so it was easy. And mm -hmm. um, now it's not. Now it's it's harder, and it's like between work and I mean I just went back to work, but like I'm also planning my wedding, and like there's so many other things happening that it's it's hard for me to find the want to make a cup. Yeah. And it's like it's sad because I love it. I was you talking know? to I think both of you separately or together about that today. It's like. Yeah, I could go make that cup, or I could fold this laundry. Mm -hmm. Have you guys oh, ever been if that was in that kind of phone? <laughs> oh, yeah, you start a whole company, and you're still crafting. I mean, that's a hard to Yeah, I mean, to this is usually, like, where they end up, though. <laughs> They're never, like, completely finished, because you got to start on the next thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, the days of finishing mm -hmm. cups seem, like, gone for a lot of people. <laughs> we were talking about that. I was talking about that with, with Chris the past couple days in the difference between, like, us as business owners versus traditional business owners is that we're, like, kind of on the hook to do our own content, too, mm -hmm. of our products. And, like I said, does Jeff Bezos do his own ads? Is he in his, his he shit? Even know no, what's happening he, in them. no, exactly. That was that we took that even further to that point that he probably has no idea what his ads even fucking look like at this point. He pays someone to review the ads that somebody else is shooting. Yes, but it's like we're not, we're not at that scale. I don't even necessarily even want to be at that scale. But it's just it's a very daunting task to come up with the idea and then like execute yes. the idea, we were just market about the idea, mm -hmm. fulfill the fucking orders when they come in. <laughs> you know what Social I mean? media like, is is like a whole a whole role. Yeah, and you have to come in and really look at that brand and then see okay, what is your vision, and then come in as a manager and say, okay, now let's land all of these ideas and start creating this content. But I mean, just doing content will take you days, yep. mm -hmm. and you guys don't have days. Nope. You guys have logistics. You guys have packing. You guys have creating, and so social media really takes on that daunting role where at the beginning it can be like oh my god this is so awesome and it's so amazing and I love making these videos but then but I still have to pack yeah. I mm -hmm. still have to ship out orders I still have to do logistics I still have to do purchases and you know social media is a whole beast in itself mm -hmm. and it has to be scoped you can't just do random videos here and there and it really varies from every platform like if you're going on TikTok it can't be curated. It has to be instant. Now the other it can't thing, brandy. It can't be product. -y. No, it, like if that. you're doing an, mm -hmm. an ad and you run it on TikTok, your engagement's gonna go down. Yeah, uh, mine did. If you decide one day you're really busy, you're doing logistics, you're doing purchases, um, and you guys didn't do any stories on Instagram, your views are gonna go down. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you really have to be on it, and and you guys. Sometimes when I when I come in as a social media manager, I see you guys and you guys are like so slammed, so many hats that you guys have to wear, and social media is a beast. Yes, it's a and, whole job. That's yeah. why there's someone that does it. Insane. I was just saying like when you guys were taking your little boomerang thingy or video or whatever, I was like, they're so good at content. I just never. <laughs> like I, I think about content and I'm like, not do it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people it's just want to begin, and that's yeah. why I wouldn't know where to begin half the time. I, I just thought about this too. I went on vacation, I just got back from vacation, and all my friends that are like super into their social media era, I guess, mm -hmm. they are all taking like thousands and thousands of pictures, and they, they've added me to like a shared album, and there's like 
400, 400, 500 pictures in the album, and they're like, Deanna, upload your pictures, and I was like, here's six pictures that I took the entire <laughs> week that we were there, and it's That's like, Jason. I, I'm just like, yeah. I'm My like, pictures are in here. <laughs> like, I was like, in the moment, I was like, like I, mm-hmm. I didn't take pictures, and I'm like, that's kind of like how I feel about like cups too. Like I'll I'll record like majority of the process and then like I'll forget like one thing. I'm like, great, well I can't use that now. Here's the finished picture, you yeah. know. Or like I've got so many cups that I never took pictures for, and I'm like, I don't yeah. think I'm taking the pictures. But it's <laughs> but social media. When you do social media, you see it as a job. Yeah. Like when we did Gase, my husband came with me. And he was looking at me. We were all eating. We were all doing this. And I was like taking pictures and videos and this. And at one point, close to me, he looks at me and he's like, just enjoy it. Like, enjoy the experience. You need to stop taking pictures. You need to to stop taking video. And I was like, no. Because (laughs) this, this this is the moment where I have all of these content creators. And I need this to be posted on stories today. Right now. Because tomorrow, it's too late. Mm -hmm. I was like, and you know, and that's how we pulled a lot of people for gays. Like we started, I started to see, and everybody's like, oh my God, you're the only one that took pictures at all the reshares. And then I started to see that I started to get a whole bunch of messages. Like, where are you? Where is this located? Can I get, can I get there? Mm -hmm. Can I, and it's like, yeah, because it's an e-commerce Yeah. and it's in the now. So if you took a picture yesterday and you want to post it today, it's too late. That's my problem. Though. I'll post it later. No. No, you have to post it like right Later's there. Later two and a half days. The balance is difficult, though, to stay inspired, especially when you're in the middle of doing a craft, to stay inspired throughout the craft when you have to stop and document every part of the process. Because it's like, how am I supposed to think about what my inspiration is and what I'm working on, but then also think about, is my fucking lighting good? Is the fucking shot good? Is this, yeah. It's Where's just my like... blue sticks? Did my phone it? actually record? <laughs> Is it oh, clean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another is thing. Is my phone recording? Or am I in the shot? <laughs> am I in memory? Let me tell you how many YouTube videos I have shot that did not make the cut because I'm over here and the camera's over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my like, goodness. You see, yeah. like, the corner of the cup. <laughs> oh. You were having a little... You were had a lot of questions when... I remember that as soon as you said that, when you started your YouTube channel, was it last year? Yeah. I remember you sent me messages. I was asking Chris about different editing for you, right? Yep. Did you ever get it figured out? I did. Yeah, I did. And uh, I was using um, Kinemaster. That's sure. a page out of a uh, uh, Jessica Flynn's book. She posted about it, and I was like, "Perfect, let me try it." And it worked out. And I was like, "Okay, this is it." And yeah. it was kind of, it was going good. I haven't made a video since before I hurt myself. <laughs> but you will. I started my YouTube video or my YouTube channel in December, and I got hurt in January. Oh Aww. no. So you will be back. I, Maybe I think I'm like four or five. You seeing us and hanging out. She's like, yeah, about <laughs> that. It's <laughs> <laughs> always motivating. Like I went to um, Indiana to go visit one of my one of her friends, and um, we she did like a a craft event, and I was like, oh man, I miss I miss stuff like this. You know, like selling tumblers and like making them and actually like displaying them and setting up and all that but also like i i miss doing stuff like that and or you know like being like oh here are all my ready to ship cups at the end of the year you know making extra christmas money do you but, but like you have a really interesting career yeah as a flight attendant have you ever thought about doing it you could niche your tumblers to your career. Ooh. Like you could do like if you know you're gonna be in Tulsa next next week, yeah. you make one really quick and yeah. then like here's the Tulsa one and you take a picture from the from the plane, you would be the only one that could do that. Mm-hmm. And like you I never keep... thought about that. That's actually genius. <laughs> I want you here to be around always she over your <laughs> Like how how does it great? Really... <laughs> Like, what a simple, great idea. That like, is a great went idea. went right over my head. I've thought so many times of, like, how I could incorporate my job into Tumblr making. And that could motivate that's you. That's, like, actually and a really good idea. Love it. Especially if you, if like, you fly international. Yeah. So, like, here's one in France. Here's one here. Here's one there. Like, it, and I mean, I would love to follow an account like that. That's pretty cute. We're still a million dollar ideas here. I only be posting like twice a week. Shakira will send your invoice in the mail. (laughs) (laughs) 
Mm. Twice a week's a lot for an Instagram feed. It is a lot. Is it? For an Instagram feed? Like, or if you're if if you if the account yeah. was dedicated to a specific aesthetic like that, having two new posts every week. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Look, I don't that's, that's a hundred that's a, a hundred and four pictures are a year. Daily, but the posts on your feed that I would say two is a, a decent to uh, a good amount. Let me just tell you, I thought Instagram died in like two thousand and six. Okay. What? I was <laughs> bored. I, I yeah, and I thought that it like wasn't cool anymore, right? So like I was like, this is stupid. And, like, what when I the Androids stopped? were allowed in? Is that when you stopped? <laughs> <laughs> when they had released it to the rest of the world, you're like, well, that, I'm done. <laughs> maybe, I'm done. maybe it was like 2010, okay? But like I thought that like it was cool for a little bit, and then it like fell off like when Twitter came around, and so I was like, okay, you know, Instagram isn't cool anymore. Back to Facebook or Twitter or Snapchat say. or whatever was cool. Foursquare or whatever was cool Four at the time. Foursquare. <laughs> whatever was Didn't cool at the that. time. I stopped hang, like stopped hanging out on Instagram. And then I started my Tumblr business and I was like, apparently Instagram is where I was supposed to be. <laughs> so and now I feel like I'm behind. Like, I'm like, I don't know how anything works. I don't understand the algorithm. I'll probably never learn. Nobody understands understand the algorithm. algorithm. Yeah. Don't worry. About and as soon as you understand the algorithm, they change it the next day anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> don't worry. I literally never learned Instagram. Um, I, like, I'm cool with TikTok. I'm cool with Facebook. Not Facebook pages, but Facebook like. I feel like if you understand them. TikTok, then you're set. I feel like that's the the difficult one, and the rest are cake. I feel like TikTok's the Android, and all the rest are the iPhone user friendly versions of it. <laughs> I feel like. I don't, I'll never, I'm never going to learn Instagram. Instagram, <laughs> Instagram is a marketing tool. Okay. So Instagram, it's used as a social media platform, but it's really for big brands. So Instagram, you have to be careful. Instagram, you can use it on your resume and Ooh. use it as a marketing tool only. That is how I sell to big companies, my services. And so you have to, that's why everything's catered. And so you have to see what the niche is and then it ha the post has to, it's an ad. It's an ad without being obvious that it's a commercial. And they sell me all the time. I buy all kinds absolutely. of stuff. Absolutely. That's what it's done but for. But it's TikTok, TikTok is shop. completely <laughs> opposite. So if you go onto TikTok and you put something that was meant for, cater for Instagram, it's not going to do well. And it's not done well for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you well, have I'm, to. Well, doing what she said, like I, I told anything I posted to Instagram, I was also posting to TikTok and uh, we were getting millions of views on TikTok and then it slowly started going down. Then it was in the high thousands and yeah. then it was in the low thousands. And now I'm typically a few hundred if I on a good day, it's, it's like two to 3000 and I'm like, woo, but that's how I used to react to the millions of views. But after I put up product stuff, TikTok was like, all right, we're done with you. Yeah. You can go in the gutter with the other product people. For me, I've been, I post, maybe that's why I'm kind of failing on Instagram, but like when I was doing my tutorials, like on YouTube, I would take my entire like 20 minute tutorial, which was already cut down from like three hours mm -hmm. and I would <laughs> cut it down into like a minute and I would post that on TikTok and Instagram. It did good on TikTok, it right? It did good on TikTok, but it never, I mean, it never did bad on Instagram, but it never did. Like, it did in Excel. Good. Mm -hmm. Do you know what my best Instagram what? thing is? Literally, I made a cup for my best friend, okay? It's just the Milky Way. It's nothing special. I made the cup. I gave it to her. I was like, oh, crap. I forgot to take a picture or a video of it. Can you send me something just so that I have it? She took a picture or a video of the cup, literally rolling across it's like a five second clip of the cup rolling across her countertop and that has like thousands and i think it has like 50 60 70 thousand views <laughs> and i'm like so no, you're it's a her. crumb there's a muffin crumb attached to the side of the cup and i'm like this is what what is this does it make that sound too of like a tumbler rolling on a desk no I put a, I put a because I feel like that's where a lot of the views would come from, like an ASMR type. Yeah. No, it's literally just like a, a it looks like a slow mo clip of the cup just like rolling across the the thing, and it picks up a crumb, <laughs> and I'm like, this is what is this? <laughs> Your more views just get really, really pointy long nails, and anything you do a video of, tap, tap on it. Yeah. Tap. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, I'm like, stop tapping on shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you are. The, the one right after that. That one. Yeah. 
It's literally just a video of it rolling across the table. Yes, yes. And it's slow rolling. It's like, what is that? Yeah. It picked up a crumb. I could see the muffin crumb. <laughs> But it, I mean, thousands of views. <laughs> 8,000. You really just never... 8,000 likes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 8,000 likes. 8,000 likes. How do you see the views? You get another 10,000 views if you just tap on it. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have just, like, done this. Yeah. Well, Those videos just drive me nuts, because they just, like, tap on a bag before you rip it. I'm like, just open the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody taps on bags. <laughs> It is like. <laughs> Those are not for you. No, Those they're not. That's I, I'm like, it I am not the TikTok media. audience, man. I'm not social media. Yeah. But I said, ironically. Media, but you TikToks are like hilarious. I'd be dying at they're their TikToks. So I was joking they're about so it with Chris. Funny. I, 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 uh, make fun of TikTok all the time with like how I say it's like out of my like realm of expertise, but so many videos are just people just like mouthing one-liners from movies yeah. and I'm telling you right now I'm in the top 10 people one-liner knowledge in this fucking country <laughs> so all day. all day long and I do it without even realizing I stop everyone from what they're doing they'll just like say something to sense I'm like wait that reminds me of this scene from a movie let me find it on YouTube real quick and like that's like what I do all day long I love it well because he'll do a one-liner I'm like what's that from he's like are you kidding me right now I'm like have I offended you I'm so sorry yes. <laughs> like, especially if it's like an anchorman stuff. quote like it's always something like I have seen stuff or like, it's always something like that I'm like no sir I didn't watch that movie in my head yeah if it's not overboard you haven't seen it I have seen overboard more than the normal amount of times <laughs> and the good version of overboard what? not the what? remake that sucked the remake I never fun. saw the remake I've never ever. seen no? Me too. It's <laughs> you never, you never saw the original? Goldie Hawn in it. I don't even know what that is. No. Overboard? Mm -hmm. Goldie Hawn and Patrick Swayze. Yeah. And he's so good in it. They're yeah. so classic. classic. Well, I know what we're doing tonight. If, it, if Patrick Swayze's <laughs> in it, it's a classic. You know yeah. What I mean? Good times. Mm -hmm. Good times. <laughs> I'm so glad you're all here. This worked out so well. I'm so excited for this weekend. And we're happy to be here. Thank you, Sarah and yeah. Jason, for inviting us over, hosting us for this class. We're super excited. Meeting people online seemed like four years ago was like i i still remember how a lot of us like commented back to each other it's like real weird like messaging each other felt like weird like you were like i don't know behind the scenes like talking to strangers now we're literally flying out to see each other like mm -hmm. i'm in the you know the city for a day what are you doing like i love this <laughs> it's nuts <laughs> And you, you see people all over because you get layovers all over you were saying like you just hit up an admin hey like what's What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well, the first time that I went to TumblrCon, not this past year, but the year before, I only went because I had a layover there. I was working, so I couldn't go. And then I got a layover in Dallas, and that was the first time that I got to meet, you know, so many people. I mean, obviously, I knew a lot of people beforehand, but, like, not meeting them in like, person. It's not, different. Yeah. I'm like... Mm -hmm. This is amazing. It was ultimately the reason why I really, really, really wanted to go to this one. And I mean, I met you there. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, you guys, so I got to see you guys again. And so, I mean, and I meet a lot of members from like my group. And obviously, sometimes I try, you know, I, I, I filter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. It's you know? meeting people in person, no matter who they are, it's weird. And it's got to be, sometimes for me especially, it's got to be the right type of person because I'm very anxious. And I'm just like, if you can't vibe with that, just roll with me. <laughs> weird that we can't hang out. <laughs> First time I met Melanie, I tried to dump out her cup. <laughs> I, like, like, I was like, oh, hi. I was so excited. I was really nervous, too. And I'm like, oh, my God, your cups are so beautiful. This is great. Molly's like, tear stuff in it. <laughs> I'm, and I, there's like barely any words exchanged. I'm just like grabbing their stuff and touching things. And I'm like, Sarah. Breathe, well, sit down, I mean, calm down. <laughs> in your defense, we were going around showing the cups, so people were holding them and whatnot. And I probably shouldn't have been drinking out of it at the same time. <laughs> Just dumped it right out. <laughs> but it's it worked. Like you didn't yeah. make me feel weird. And I, some people, you know, Aww. they don't that they don't try to. It's just two different personalities, and it yeah. just works yeah. sometimes. Yeah, that's true. But it's it's sometimes it's a little bit <laughs> weird because like. Especially when it's not, like, another content creator, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, we're not like, oh, my God, you know, like, oh, my God. Oh. But, Sometimes like, I am. Yeah, but, like, you know, but, like, you know, you're also, like, you know, 
like it's different. Different. Yeah, it's, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Like I, I remember I met up with with one person and um, we were having lunch and she just was like looking at me like this and I'm like, I'm like, oh my goodness, I feel really. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, I can't believe I'm meeting you and I'm like. I don't even know what to say. I'm just a so normal much. person. Like it's so weird. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, I know about your whole life. Like, and I'm like, I'm like, well, this is creepy. I, this is, <laughs> like, it's not even creepy because I understand that. Like, I put, I put my you put out of my life on out there. But like, you know, it's also sometimes really hard. Like, I went to a craft event that's like the biggest craft event in Atlanta. Oh, Ga- the, oh, Gates wasn't there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about like, like <laughs> I'm talking about like a like a where people like sell stuff that they've made. Yeah, a vendor and, event. Like a vendor event, yeah. <laughs> and um I I went to go in a booth and I was looking at something and the lady that owned the booth she was like, I know you. And I was like, I don't know you. <laughs> like I was thinking like hi, and she's like I watch you on, you know, whatever. Or like when I went to uh, Culture Con, I was in the bathroom <laughs> at the airport and I'm washing my hands and somebody's like, I watch you on Tumblr too. <laughs> and I'm like, that is so weird. So like sometimes it is very strange to like meet people in real life that aren't other like content creators because they're like, it sounds so weird to say that. Like, it sounds weird. It does. It sounds you know? weird. It feels weird. It feels weird, but it sounds weird. It feels like... But you, you do share... Yeah. You like, <laughs> share a big part of your life with a, with public. You, yeah. you can see the number in the corner, but you really have no idea how many people are watching you. Yeah. And YouTube, I mean, all you have no idea who's listening. Tons of people. But I will say, though, at the like, on the other session. end of that, it is, I don't know, for me, at least, like, I am very awkward, and I don't know how to approach people or, like, say things. So, like, Sarah, actually, for, um, which event was it? I don't know. I was it wants... the first one that we met at? Yes. Oh, yes, in Tulsa. 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 Yes, 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 that one. So you were actually on the same flight as Daniel, and he was like, Sarah's on this flight. Yeah. Wait, he won't remind me, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. And he like he's like, I don't know what to say. And I'm like, oh. And then you were actually like you were on the bench, (laughs) like sitting down in the airport, like going out, and I was on the bench sitting down like on the other side, and I was like, Daniel. I don't know what to say to her. And I found <laughs> my glasses at the end of January. So if I, I couldn't have seen you if I tried. <laughs> how far away you are, I can't see my blind. And I keep telling people, like, if I'm looking at you for a little bit longer than you think I should be, I'm trying to figure out that. I'm not mind. staring. Not just like, not. my eyes it's trying to fall here. Right Hold on. <laughs> I said at, at t- TumblrCon, I said hi to someone that I thought was somebody else. She's like walking towards me. She's probably about as far as she can. And I thought it was this woman, Corey. And I'm like, Good morning. I'm like all like trying to be cute. And then she like got close to me. She wasn't saying anything. And I'm like, are we not as close as I thought we were? And I'm like, Did I just make this weird? And then she gets real close to me. I'm like, that's not the person I thought. You're not, you're not who I thought. Was. She's like, this blue hair girl is real. It was a weird. man. Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me, are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> But you know, like, about meeting people that aren't content creators, though, like, I've met a lot of, like, customer-type people that do the, you know, the whole, like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. But then I wound up being, like, really great friends with them, too. Yeah, me too. Exactly. Uh-huh. So people don't make it weird. And I'm like, like, I did, I wish you my life, but, like, I'm really anxious. Let's just be friends and chill. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, yeah. It's so weird because you don't, I mean, I'm, I may be speaking for myself, but I'm sure I'm speaking for you guys, too. Like, you don't see yourself, as, I mean, you too, I, you don't see yourself as, like, no. this, like. Nope. No. Normal person, and it's like I I remember when I first started tutors, I had my admin team, and you guys would be like, your face would be so it would be like so weird because like Allie on live, she'd be like, oh my god, Deanna, I can't believe you're watching. Uh huh. Like, oh and I'm like, we literally <laughs> speak every day, like we're friends, or like if I call one of them. Like, we literally talk to each other every day. We say good morning. We say good night. Oh, we have conversations God. throughout the day. And, like, I'll call one of them and be like, am I in trouble? And I'm like, <laughs> can I call my friend? Like, <laughs> it's so weird, right? But, like, you don't, you don't see yourself as, like, a big deal. So it's, like, it's like 
uncomfortable sometimes mm-hmm. or a little bit awkward and it's like it died down a lot for Sarah and I, but like when it was the height of especially when we first started and it was everything. And I said the one time when we went to Disney that at one point somebody in our group made a thread of like trying to find us in Disney. Like what part, what part do you think they're in in Disney right now? And I'm like, I'm like, if you guys like stop for a second and think about what you're doing, it's a little fucking it's a little weird. weird. <laughs> but at one point, somebody had run up to us. Sarah and I are just like walking around the parks, and this is well before Alex was even thought of or anything. So yeah. it was like just us, like on vacation. And someone's like, "Oh my God, it's Jesus, Sarah, it's glitter guy!" And they're like, took a picture real quick, and then they ran away. Oh God! I, yelled, I was like, "Wait, what's your name?" Yeah, we were literally like, <laughs> she was very anxious too, and her husband was not playing that. We're stopping and talking to this random girl game. He's like, "Me and the kids, we're just gonna keep walking. Then you do what you want." But she wanted to stop for like a second. Oh, I'm like, no. "Wait." What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I love that she's so soft, even though her husband was like, you can do what you want with your fan girl. Do you, boo? But I was like, please just understand, we're just two people. Like, we'll say hi, we'll take a picture, or whatever. It's like, it's fine. We're just, we're yeah. just people. I've never, I, I hope that I'm I've just never made me. anyone feel weird, but I'm like a very, like, in your face. Chris is actually <laughs> famous. He has an IMDb. You are! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> you never get used to it. But it, it is true. Like, at, that's what we were talking yeah, about. <laughs> that we don't... We're fake famous. Like, Chris is real famous. Exactly. <laughs> we don't... We don't... I don't ever want to be an influencer. I want to be a teacher. You know? I, I want, love that. Yeah. I love what like, you're about to say because we were just saying that last we night. We were talking about thing. that. Like, I want people to feel... And I tell them in DA all the time, message me. Like, if you can't, if you can't make the sculpt, message me. Private message me and I will help you through it. Um, I want people to feel that they can come and I'm more of your friend. Approach me. I'm not a celebrity. I like it, not a celebrity at all. I don't, I never, never am looking to be, um, uh, an influencer. Internet famous. No, yeah. no, no, no. I just want to teach mm-hmm. and, you know, for me crafting, uh, actually sculpting came through Melanie. We didn't know each other and my husband found Melanie and then I started to follow her tutorials. Yeah, sister wives. And now, now we're sister wives. <laughs> <laughs> now we're sister wives. <laughs> no, just kidding. But, um, and it's so weird because I tell Melanie, like, there's so many things that I learned through your tutorials. And I never thought I was going to get to meet you. But then we became friends. We became best friends. And, you know, that's what I want other people to. You know, if you have anxiety, if you have this, and clay actually helps you because I, I usually don't even use tools. I do everything by hand. Mm-hmm. It's like, if this helps you, right. let, me, <laughs> let me be your teacher and your friend. I, I don't want to be an influencer. I don't want to be a pseudo celebrity. And I love the way that you said that last night because it made me think about that too. Like, what do I want to be? What is my MO? And I thought about like, not that I mind people messaging me, but I can't teach to that degree. I'll get frustrated and I'm like, I don't, I have no idea. You're just going to have to figure it out at that point. But you have the patience to like, all right, well, what if you sculpt it this way and then mm-hmm. down and then around and, and yeah. see if that works and let me know. And then you, you they, it yeah. works for that. Me, I'm like, uh, well, you saw the way I did it. So if you keep doing it that way, that's going to work out. <laughs> Do better. Like, I want to be like, we're motivated to influencers. Okay, that's where I'm going to go. <laughs> But I like, I like to, you know what, for me, when I started all of this, I was in a pandemic where I couldn't go out and I had no friends because I, I just couldn't go out at all because Literally. of my lungs. Literally, mm-hmm. I was like inside and they brought me into their group and it really saved me. Like I had no idea how isolated I feel I felt. And now I'm seeing that there's a lot of crafters that feel the same way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't want them to feel like that. I want them to feel that they can approach me and we can talk about other things. Yeah. You know, the way they did it with me. Yeah. So. If everyone has people like that, the world is a better place. That was like the point why I said we ever put gays together and stuff was just to bring community together. I said first and foremost, it was never like a money making thing. No, so that, at this time. point, at this point, I can say 100%. Me and Sarah made zero dollars off of gays. I officially <laughs> used the last of the money to pay off something else. So like... But that's not, it was never to make money. Mm-hmm. Paid all my employees, they all got paid and stuff. But it was the whole point is just like for the community to come together and to create something mm-hmm. that hopefully inspires everybody to want to be around each other or to create more things and everything. Just, you know. Yeah. And it's really awesome meeting other like-minded people who yeah. are also, you share the same interests mm-hmm. and 
It's you can cool. text all you want, but until, and even audio clips, they help. But being able to do this and, and body language and everything, you see a whole different side of people. It's good. It's yeah. bonding. You know? That's true. Ain't got that kind of people in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> there are far few between us crafties. <laughs> yep. But it's so nice. Yeah, it is nice. Do we have to wrap up? I don't know. What time is it? <laughs> I'm not the one that has. Do you a have to go. To <laughs> Sorry, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we gotta go put pumpkins on our heads. We do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have more photo Content shoot planned. stuff to do. <laughs> this is so much fun. I hope everyone gets to have this much fun with people. I hope we motivate people to get together more. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. fly five people in every week. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Jason said you can stay I get, right. Yeah, we'll just keep everything set up like this. <laughs> I get a message from Jason. I go, can I get a bite size? <laughs> <laughs> Jason will definitely fall asleep in the jump seat. 100% will sleep in the jump seat. That's good. You're Look. holding it like a baby. <laughs> I guess you could do your little sign off because if I start another topic, we'll be here for the All right, let's go back to our pot. The kettle and never bring the kettle to the pot. Now, pour the tea.